Hello, it's me again. So today I'm not actually solving a problem, but uh, I would like to introduce the Euler's formula for polyhedrons. So it's a very... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Just get rid of that. And it's a very popular formula, and it also is very easy to understand, and it's in many textbooks, uh, at least in Japanese curriculum that I know of. But uh, it's actually not well explained in any of the textbooks. And then also, I didn't see much YouTube videos, at least. I mean, I've only found one uh, YouTube video that explained and kind of deeply about this formula. And then also, my teacher back in high school didn't explain how Euler uh, derived this formula. So, I remember vividly, it was the first time I consulted my algebra teacher to, you know, explain how Euler came up with this formula. And I remember vividly how he explained it to me, so I would like to introduce that to you guys in case you were wondering how Euler came up with this. So the formula is fairly simple. We're talking about uh, one cube, or like what, uh, whatever kind of, you know, polyhedron. And then if you uh, add the number of faces and then vertices, ver vertices, and then minus the number of edges, then it will end up in two in any kind of polyhedron. So this here, I've uh, uh, I've shown, uh, I mean, I've drawn a cube here. So the number of faces, six obviously, like in die, in, in a die, and also vertices, vertices, uh, the number, as you can just count them up and then it will be eight and it edges 12. So six plus eight, 14 minus 12, and then it would of course end up in 12. So if you do that in any other polyhedrons, you would end up the same. But how is that possible? Like, you know, let me just explain how uh, maybe Euler came up with this. So uh, it's fairly simple. I've, you know, just, you know, shaded one side of this uh, cube. But just imagine you take away this, like a lid, and you just take away this uh, surface here. And then it will be like a cup. So just remember, remember that you minus one uh, face. But now you compress that into a two-dimensional form. So now one face is open. You can just you can kind of see it as you're looking from above also. But just imagine you crush that crush that open lit cube into a uh, two-dimensional form. And I would. Uh, I would draw that here. Okay. It didn't actually end up as a cube, but I mean square. Just cope with it. Doesn't really matter. So now I've compressed that into a two dimensional form. So just keep in mind that I didn't add any vertices and I didn't add any edges. I just, you know, minus one F. Set, I mean, face. So just remember that. So the number, I mean, the equation doesn't really change except for the fact that I minus one face. But I would add the, I would add that number of, uh, I mean, the face in the end. So just keep in mind with that. So now that I have this, you know, two dimensional, uh, set, I mean, two dimensional diagram, then I'll, now what I'm going to do is to cut these, you know, uh, squares and you know kind of uh, you know rectangles whatever into triangles so I mean by that is uh, what I mean by that is just you know you draw a diagonal line in that shape and you now add it one edge plus one edge I mean yeah, yeah plus one edge and then also you plus one surface because it was a one uh, face but now it's two within this uh, square, but uh, just keep in mind that if, even if you add one face and then if you want add one edge, it's a minus here, so the, you know this equation doesn't really change. And then it's exact the same for any other you know, uh, shape here, so even if you draw as many lines, diagonal lines, and then even if one of the face was like a, I don't know, uh, what is a hexagon? I'm, I'm very bad at shape nouns. Like whatever this, whatever this shape is. Um, 
whatever this shape is, uh, you, if you it was a one surface, but uh, if you add two edges, it, it will you will just end up adding two faces. So that formula also doesn't really change. So you can you can do this in any other shapes. So now, so now you've now you have uh, many triangles here. Let me just try to cross this out. So you have many triangles here. So now what you're going to do is to you know take away these triangles from this shape, and then also you know taking care of that uh, equation at the same time. So let's do that. From okay, let's let's get rid of this triangle here. So uh, just just to make it explicit, I would actually I think this this one will be nice in terms of like a in a camera. So I would subtract this triangle from this. So let me just get rid of this over here. So what I'm going to do here is that you would just, you know, minus one edge here. And then now uh, you also minus one face here, right? If you um, so take away this line, minus one edge and then minus one face. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really change in the end. And also, so you can do the exact same thing with other other stuff here and here and also you can do this with this one but now but now there are some different ones that come along so different like triangles that you want to subtract so now let's say I would like to subtract this triangle here but now if you take away this triangle you have to you know uh, take away these two edges and then also keep in mind that you, by eliminating this triangle you are also eliminating one vertices so minus one vertices minus one face and then also minus two edges uh, minus two edges minus one vertices and then minus one face yeah, the equation doesn't really change because you know this would end up adding two in this equation. So minus one, minus one, plus two. Obviously, it um, like you know compensate each other. So you do the exact same thing here, here, and now you come up, come back with the first one, just eliminating one edge and one face. And do the exact same thing, one vertice, one face and two edges. And another triangle you can eliminate by this one, minus one face, minus one vertice, and minus two edges. And then now you end up with one triangle. And count how many face and edge and vertices it has got, obviously three vertices, one face, uh, whatever, one face, F, and three edges here, right? And then also keep in mind that we've uh, subtracted one face at the very beginnings. So we have to plus one face. Okay, this sign's a bit weird, but just cope with it. So now two faces, plus um, three vertices minus uh, two, I mean, sorry, um, three, three edges equals two. You can do this exact same thing with any other polyhedron. You can try this with a tetrahedron if you want to, or, you know, quadro or whatever you come up with, you do the exact same uh, sequence and then you would end up with one simple triangle and you know one uh, face that you subtracted at the very beginning and then you just do the, this 
same math here, and now it would end up in the number, I mean, like, amount of 2. So, that's it. Um, it's not actually, like, a proof, or how do you say? It, it, it doesn't really sound like a proving uh, formula, but at least you get the grim glimpse of, like, you know, how Euler came up with this. Uh, it will be uh, lovely if you got that throughout this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and maybe see you guys next time. Bye-bye.